Hi everyone, you're home on the tools with James, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own hydroponic grow tubes, or in this case, aquaponic grow tubes using PVC pipe. I'll take you through step by step how to make this up and uh, do it for quite cheap and get a pretty good effect. So let's go and take a closer look. So I'm rapidly running out of space in my greenhouse, and uh, really the only way to go was up. So what I've done here is I've built some grow tubes. Uh, pretty, pretty plain, basic and simple, and I'm using the, uh, the water from my aquaponic system uh, to run through these tubes. So effectively, it's still an aquaponic system. Um, done pretty cheap, uh, just with PVC pipe and a bit of off-cut timber that I had, uh, and I'm just running a little pump there, uh, pumping the water through. So I'll jump into it, I'll show you what I'm doing here, I'll take you through step by step on how you can build your own. Um, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is, uh, is measure up. And basically, I'm going to take the measurement from the ground level uh, up to the top of the rail here. So this is where the, uh, the pipes are going to come into the IBC. Uh, and I've got 81 centimetres there, so that'll give me how high our leg height will be um, for our grow tubes. And then the other measurement that I want to take is I'm going to go between uh, these two for the inlet and these two for the outlet. I want to take the middle point. So the middle point there is 55 centimetres. So that gives me the width I'm going to run my tubing apart from one another as it goes out and across the grow bed. So now that we've measured up, let's go and take a look at, uh, at cutting some of these uh, stormwater tubes. So we'll take a close look at the PVC pipe that I'll be using. So for the actual grow tubes themselves, uh, it's 90 mil stormwater drain pipe, um, readily available, easy to get your hands on. And this will make a good size uh, for putting our little, uh, our, little, our little pods in, our little buckets in for our, for our planting our lettuce or whatever we want to choose to grow. Uh, I would recommend if you can, uh, it is hard to lug around, but buy it in the six metre lengths. Uh, it's certainly much cheaper and in some cases half the price of buying it in a three metre length or a one metre length. So for this job, uh, I needed six metres, so I bought one piece of that, uh, which is cool. I've already docked this one in half just to make it easier for me to move around. Uh, and then for the legs, uh, I've used some 25 mil uh, or one inch, and it, this is pressure pipe, this stuff, this PVC pipe. And, I can only get this one in three metre lengths, uh, but I bought nine metres for this job and we're going to make the legs out of those. So what we might do now uh, is go and make some cuts uh, for the application that I've got here uh, and then we'll come back and we'll do a bit of assembly. So for cutting the PVC pipe, I find that my drop saw, uh, for me, is the easiest way to do it. Get nice, clean, 90 degree cuts um, so all my fittings fit on really well. Uh, but you could use a hacksaw, drop saw, circular saw, whatever, whatever you want uh, to do your cuts. Uh, but let's make our cuts, let's get everything ready to go, and we'll meet back in the shed and, uh, and piece everything together. Let's go. So all the cuts have been done now, uh, and it's time for some assembly. So uh, this is the fun part. Now, I want to give you a bit of a closer look at the, the legs that I'm using for this application. Now I've got those 25 mil or one inch uh, PVC pipe cut to size. Uh, I'm looking to get 81 centimetre long legs. If you remember, that was the height we need to get back into our IBC. Now, a closer look at some of the fittings that I'm using. So what I've got here is it's a faucet type T piece fitting. Again, one inch. All right, this one's got a, got a, a thread in one end and then it comes out. So they're gonna make the footings of our legs. And then we've got this little uh, part here, and this screws in uh, to our T-piece, and then our leg's gonna press into that. And the reason I'm using threaded pieces, now it is a little bit more expensive. These fittings can be more pricey. You don't absolutely have to do it this way. It's just the way I'm doing it. You find your own way uh, to make it happen. But the reason I'm using this is when I set this up, this will help me level out my legs. So I'll be able to screw it in uh, if the table's you know, too high, and I'll be able to screw it out uh, if it's too low and I need to get a bit more height, that'll get me my nice even uh, legs and we'll, you know, run a spirit level over, it'll be nice and flat. So that's what I'm doing for the base. Uh, then basically the part that I've cut is going to press into that. And then at the other end here, I've got my 25 mil coupling. I'm just going to put a coupling on it. I've cut another little piece and this is the piece that presses up into the timber, um, into the timber holds, into the stays for the grow tubes. And that goes in top. All right, so that there is, uh, is a complete leg. So let's go and put these legs together and I'll show you what we're doing with the grow tubes. All 
All right, let's get our 90 mil grow tubes together now. And to, uh, to join them together, what I'm using uh, is really plain and simple, 90 degree, uh, 90 mil uh, bends. So we're gonna make a loop out of this and we're gonna run a couple back so they head back into the IBC. So I'll show you those going together. Uh, important to note, we're not gluing anything at all together at this stage. Uh, we're just gonna rough it all together, make sure everything fits. It's gonna be nice and level. It's where it needs to be. Uh, and then we'll look at gluing it all together. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna have a look at how we're making these timber retainers for our grow tubes. And uh, I've already got one made up here. Um, you can see, I'll bring it back a little bit. You can see there the two lines for the grow tubes. So I've got these cut out with a 92 mil. Uh, and then I've got some sockets drilled out in the bottom here uh, to put our PVC legs into. Now what I've done uh, to make these nice round cuts, these are done at 92 mil and our stormwater inside diameter is 90, so they fit really nice and flush. Uh, I've actually used a hole saw, a Milwaukee one, um, a bulldozer. Uh, I think that's what they call it, a hole dozer. Uh, and I've, I've literally just cut into it and then it'll fit our, uh, our stormwater drain perfectly. Uh, and then for our underneath, for the bottom, I bought out these. Now I've, I've done these with, a, with this type of bit. Now this bit's just for joining bench tops together or um, for hinges uh, that you might see in your doors. They're pretty, pretty easy to get your hands on. And I've literally just bought into the bottom of it and it's, uh, it's the right diameter for the legs to, to press into. So I need to make up a few of these uh, and this is what our grow tubes are gonna sit into. And what that allows us to do uh, is have these grow tubes completely removable. So we can take them out, clean them, you know, replace them, move it around, whatever we wanna do. So um, let's go and make one of these. I'll show you what we're doing. All right, so I'll give you a bit of a look at what's happening here. I've marked out uh, here and here um, two lines. Now these, these lines are uh, 14 and a half centimeters in from each side is what I've come. And they're exactly 55 centimeters apart. So that's the diameter of space we want our center line of our grow tubes to be apart. And as long as I follow that, they're going to flow back nicely into the IBC um, at that same width apart. So basically, got our, uh, got our hole saw attachment here. We're just going to go slightly down from the top so we can get our drill uh, into the timber. Uh, and away we go. And as you can see, really effective, 92 millimeter hole. Our grow tubes will fit in there nicely. Um, I'll give them a bit of a sand, a bit of a clean up, you can see both sides. Uh, but before we do that, let's bang our holes in the bottom for our legs, uh, and then we'll, we'll take a closer look at the next bit. All right, now we've got it, the timber flipped over now. We're gonna put our holes in here for our legs to slide into using our hinge bit. Uh, I've basically measured four and a half centimeters in each side. Um, what that'll do is give me the space in the middle for it to fit over the garden beds in my greenhouse. Um, your application, you know, it'll be your, your measurements that whatever size you're going to build it to. Um, but basically I want to put my holes um, between this line and this line so that we can ensure that the legs sit past the garden beds and it, uh, it all fits up nice and neat. So I've got my bit in the drill. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. We've got our three timber brackets all made up, ready to go. Um, and as you can see, I've just sat some of the 90 mil uh, stormwater drain pipe in it that we're gonna use for our grow tubes. Uh, and you can see quite satisfying. Fits in there uh, like a glove. Uh, and obviously one will run in this other side and connect up. Um, because they are, it is raw timber and it is gonna be about round water, I am gonna hit it with a bit of, uh, well, honestly, just some stuff I've got lying around. I've got some bench top clear left. Uh, this is for sealing bench tops, um, hardwood timbers, soft timbers, etc. So that'll work fine, but a polyurethane or a, um, you know, any type of clear or something that's going to protect the wood from moisture, uh, I would recommend if you're going to use timber uh, for your build. Uh, but we'll get a coat of that on uh, and then we'll look at the assembly of the, uh, of the grow tubes. Let's go. So we're ready to uh, assemble our system now. I just wanted to give you a quick look uh, at how the legs press into the bottom of our wooden uh, stays for our grow tubes. So you can see that they just push in really nice and snug uh, and that's gonna give our legs a nice home to, uh, to sit in. It should be nice and sturdy for us. So let's go, let's do the assembly.
Well, all right, we've assembled our system and just remember we haven't glued it together yet. Uh, we've just got it all roughed out. Uh, happy with how it's come along so far. Uh, but what we need to do now uh, is drill all our holes uh, to fit our little grow buckets in. Uh, the grow buckets that I've got here, I'm using five centimetre ones, so I'll give you a closer look at those. So you can see that they've got all the holes all the way through it, so they can water pass through it really nicely, sides and bottom. Uh, and as I said, they're five centimetres. So um, what I'm doing is I've got a, another hole saw for my, uh, for my drill, and this is at 48 mil. So these will fit really, really snug uh, in at the top, which is what we want. Now to get these level uh, across the PVC tubing, the 90 mil stuff, uh, I'm actually doing a bit of a cheats way here. I've got a laser set up. You might see a bit of a disco flashing in the background here. Um, makes the job easy. So how far you space these apart is completely up to you. Uh, I'm sort of going to just mark it out, maybe sort of 10 centimetres apart, 15. I'll work that out as I go. Uh, I bought these off eBay. I got 80 of them for about 20 bucks. So I've got heaps of them. Uh, and I'll work out exactly how far I'm going to separate them apart just here as I go here. Uh, you certainly don't need to use a laser um, to, to get your level line uh, down your 90 mil pipe. You could use a string line. You could probably do it by, by eye to be honest. Uh, I've got the laser. It's just going to make it super easy. So let's go and hook into these, get all these holes drilled uh, and put little buckets in and move along to the next step. All right, so some good progress. We've got one uh, of our grow tubes all uh, drilled and done. Uh, ended up going 150 mil apart. I think that looks, looks about right. Uh, our, our baskets, our little cups, they fit in really nice and snug, which we love. And you can see there that they sort of sit a little bit more than half into the pipe, which is what we want. We'll get a nice good bit of water flow uh, going about the roots and stuff of our, uh, of our uh, seedlings that we're gonna plant in here. Uh, to note when you are drilling the holes and they started off in forward uh, to get your pilot hole drilled, and then put the hole saw, uh, the drill in reverse, so the hole saw cuts in reverse. Uh, it'll grab at your wrist a lot less uh, and it'll give you a much cleaner, cleaner cut as well. So that's just a little tip for you there. All right, I've got one more of these tubes to, uh, to drill the holes into and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So let's go. So I've test fit up the system and it's, uh, it's all in place and we're good to glue. So uh, I'm gonna bring it back in the shed and glue it all together. But what I'm using is uh, PVC pressure cement. So we're using a clear one. Don't get the green. Um, you want it to look nice and clear so it looks like a good finish. Uh, and then the primer, you want to use the same deal. Let's get the clear one. Um, use a priming fluid. And this makes sure you get really good adhesion. Uh, don't cut corners on this. Use the pressure uh, glue both on the fitting and on the pipe uh, so you get a nice seal. You just don't want any leaks uh, when we put it all together and we're trying to hold water. Uh, so that's what we've got for the glue. Now, the fittings that I'm going to be putting on either end, I'll give you a look at these now. I've glued on the end uh, screw cap uh, fittings with, uh, with a seal. So these are, the, these are the fittings and they've got a seal on the back. The reason I'm doing that is I actually want to be able to pull this apart and clean it from time to time um, when I need to. So you've got the outlet here and I've drilled a 20 mil hole through there and just pressed the fitting into it and I've glued that in place as well. So that's what will come out. And then on the inlet, uh, fits nice and snug in there you'll see. Uh, this is some three quarter inch BSP uh, tank, tank through fittings they're called. Um, I'll give you a close look. I've just put basically an elbow on and this runs into a 20 mil, uh, which is suitable for 19 mil uh, poly pipe, which you'd find on sprinkler systems, etc. So this is our feed line up. So we'll have basically uh, a, uh, a pump that feeds up into this. Uh, this will go in and this will come through the outlet. So they're the fittings that I'm using and I'll give you a close look at those when we're actually in the greenhouse. Uh, figuring out to the IBC. And then I want to talk about the pump that, uh, that we're going to use to, uh, to pump water through our, uh, through our grow tubes. Now, what I've got here is an Aqua One pump. So that's it there. Now, this is a 2000 litre per hour pump uh, and it's capable of, uh, it's got a two metre max head height. So that's the height that the, the pump can vertically pump water up. This is going to go up about a metre. So this has got plenty of juice in it. Um, I'll wait to see whether this is uh, adequate for the system. I think it'll probably be spot on. I've got a two and a half thousand litre per hour uh, pump running the actual IBC uh, into the top grow bed that I've got there at the moment uh, and it, it runs like a clock. So really happy with that. So I'm going to use this one and the pipe that I'm going to use from the pump uh, up into the, the tank inlet. So this one is just this 19 mil uh, poly pipe that you'd be pretty used to seeing in, uh, in your hardware stores for running sprinkler systems and I'll run a couple of clips like so to make sure that that all anchors down. So 
Let's go and uh, let's go and put this all together in the greenhouse, uh, and then let's talk through the system and uh, and give it a go. Let's get it in use. Okay, I've got the system up and running now, and uh, I want to talk you through how I've gone about doing this. So, not without its challenges, I found that really dialing in the right water height inside the pipe was a bit of a challenge. Um, what you'll notice here is I've used a T piece um, with a check valve in it between the pump and the intake. Now, the reason I've done that is just so I can control the flow of water heading into my grow tube. Uh, that 2,000 litre per hour pump uh, was probably a little bit too strong in hindsight, so I've been able to really back that off. The bonus here is the fish are getting more aeration uh, back into their tank. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure you're, you're careful of is when you're actually using the um, outlet tube is to do up that end case really tight first and then mark out where you're going to put your outlet in that cap. Um, you don't want to go too high because you'll find that you'll fill up your uh, grow tubes too much and it'll spill out the top. And of course you don't want to go too low because then your baskets won't actually sit in water. Um, you've got to find that sweet spot. Uh, I've found that the baskets are running about half uh, half height in water, which is exactly where I want it. It's still going to allow some good air to get to the roots of uh, the seedlings that I plant out at a later stage, um, but then it's also not going to be so deep in water that, uh, that it suffocates the seedlings that I'm trying to grow. I've got a really basic filter in it, just in the cup one spot there. I've just put a bit of carbon, um, carbon uh, matting, it's like a scouring pad type thing. I'll absolutely be upgrading the filtration system on both my IBC and my grow tubes at a later stage. Uh, but for now, that will do nicely. The other thing that I had to do as well was get some stainless steel turnbuckles and some 90 mil um, clamps just to connect the ends of the grow tubes uh, to, the, to the IBC. And this really allowed me also to really dial it in and get it dead flat level um, so that the water level stayed nice and level in my grow tubes. Um, having those adjustable legs too, absolute godsend trying to get this level. And it's really allowed me to make great, uh, great use of the space uh, in my greenhouse. So look, that's it. I'll, I'll wrap it up there. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop some comments below uh, and I'll get back to you with some answers. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and it would really, really help me out if you'd subscribe as well. Spurs me on and keep me doing these videos. Uh, but you've been Home on Tools with James. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.